Hey everyone, in this video, we will implement the pagination functionality in our Next.js MySQL crude application. So, back in our VS Code, I have opened the project directory in VS Code. Here you can see this is my project directory. Now, first of all, we will start the server. So, I am in my project directory next to MySQL, and here I will type npm run dev. npm run dev and this will start my server and as you can see my server is started on port 3000 so i will visit localhost 3000 and here you can see this is our project and this is the list of users stored in our database now we want to implement this pagination functionality right here so that a limited amount of data can be shown in one page and the rest of the data will be shown on the other page. So back in our VS code, in the project's root directory, I will make a folder helpers and in that folder, I will make a file paginate.js and in this file, we will make a function paginate this function will accept three arguments the first argument will be the data second argument will be the current page and the third argument will be the page size and for here we will calculate the starting index so i will write const start index and we will calculate the start index with the help of current page and page size so we will write current page minus 1 multiplied by page size now let's say the current page is 1 so uh, 1 minus 1 is equals to 0 and if the page size is 3 it means if you want to show only 3 data uh, at a single page now let's say current page is 1 so 1 minus 1 is equals to 0 and if the page size is 3 so 0 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 0 so our starting index will be 0 now we will return the paginated data with the help of slice function we will start slicing from starting index to starting index plus page size okay now from components folder open layout.js file and here we will import the paginate function and here we will import the use state hook as we have to make a state of current page so here we will write const current page set current page and the default value will, of current page will be 1 and then here we will make a variable page size is equals to 3 and here we will make a function const on page change which will accept page number and with the help of this function we will invoke the set current page function so i will write set current page and we'll pass the page as a parameter here we will make a variable paginated users and we will use the paginate function and here we will pass value dot users and current page and page size now this function will return me the paginated users in this variable and in the users table i will pass paginated users and in the pagination component uh, first of all we will pass the users count and here we will pass value dot users dot length 
then we will pass current page then we will pass page size then we will pass on page change method like so now we will destructure all these props in the pagination component so open the pagination component and here we will destructure all the past props so uh, i will destructure users count current page page size and on page change method and here we will first calculate the total pages so here we will write const total pages and here we will use, use math seal function and in this function we will pass users count divided by page size and here we will check if the total pages is equals to 1 then we will do nothing and here we will make a array of total pages with the help of array dot from method uh, here we will have an object with the length key and here we will pass total pages then we will have the map function here i will use i and i will return the incremented value of i so let's say if the total pages is 5 then this variable will have an array of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 elements. Now, here under the ul tag, I will map all the pages. So I will write pages map page. And here we will return the li tag. So I will copy this li from here. And I will paste it here and then in the class name we will use packticks and here we will check if the current page is equals to the mapped page then we will apply the active class else we will do nothing and here in the anchor tag we will use the on click function so I will write on click and we will invoke the on page change method. So I will write on page change and here we will pass the page. And here also we will show the page. Now as soon as the user clicks on the anchor tag, then the page number will be changed according to that page so we will remove all these ally tags from here and now let's see in the browser and as you can see there are only three users listed on the first page when i click on the second page then the next users after the third user are showing on the second page so our pagination functionality is working correctly. Now in the next video, uh, we will see the implementation of search functionality. So that's all for this video guys. Stay tuned. Meet you in the next video. Thank you.